Hey, Travis kiddos. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I want to go back and edit my writing from the other day. So this week, remember, we're writing about um, community helpers. So we read all kinds of helpers in the Reading Writing Workshop book, and now we are writing about helpers in our communities. I was writing about grocery workers. So let's read through what I wrote, and then let's see what we can make better, what we need to fix and change. Okay, so grocery workers help in my community. They help scan and bag my groceries. They help me find food. They stock the shelves with food. They greet me at the door. The workers at the store help us all. Okay, so a couple of things here. Um, I would, let's start at the beginning and work our way through. Um, I see some places where I need some periods and, um, capitals. I see some places where I could maybe add some more details. Um, and while this is kind of a nonfiction text, um, I can still add a little bit of my personal experience, um, and opinions into it. I know that blurs, blurs the lines a little bit, but um, this is about my experience with grocery store workers and how what I see them doing to help. So, um, so I get to add a little bit, kind of like how in the reading writing workshop, um, when they were writing about the bus driver, they talked about how they think the bus driver is the best. Okay, so grocery workers, um, I'm going to add grocery store workers in because that helps be a little bit more specific. So I'm going to put my little arrow and add in grocery store workers help in my community. And I just sounded out community the best I could. They help scan and bag my groceries. Great, period, capital. <laughs> they help me find food. And now I am missing some punctuation here. I don't have any punctuation at the end of that sentence. And, you know, they do more than help me find food. They help me find food and other items. Sometimes I need to find paper towels or um, I need to find um, bags, garbage bags, or I need to find markers. Um, so they help me find those things. Okay, so they help me find food and I'm gonna put a little arrow up and add and other items. Okay, and then I put a period at the end because that is the end of my sentence, okay? Now, the next sentence is gonna need to start with a capital T, but I'm even gonna add a little bit more before that next sentence, okay? Um, because I wanna add a little bit more about how they help me find things. So I'm not very tall, so I often can't reach things in the stores. So I'm going to add another arrow. This time I, it's going to be a little confusing because it's um, a little bit tight there. I'm going to put an arrow down this time. Okay. Now I'm still adding it before they stock the shelves with food. But I'm going to add in that, um, that when I can't reach something, they get it down for me. Okay. And even beyond that, so when I can't reach something, now I'm starting with a different sentence starter than they, because I've started a lot of my sentences with they, and I want to change it up a little bit. So when I can't reach something, I'm not going to write workers this time. I'm going to use a different word. So I'm going to use a synonym. We worked on synonyms last week. Um, a synonym for workers is employees. We worked on, we read the word employees when we were reading the oi sound in the joy of a ship. Okay. So when I can't reach something, employees get it down for me. So I'm trying to put in different details, different words to make it a little more, bit more interesting. Okay. Okay. So get it down for me. I'm really having to squeeze that in there. But I have a final draft for you as well, so don't worry. You'll get to see what it looks like when I put it all together. It's okay to edit on your first draft, but it's always good to show a more finished product when you're done with all your best work in it. Okay? So period at the end, then a capital. They stock the shelves with food. Okay? Then I need some punctuation. End of a thought and a capital T. They greet me at the door. 
Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit more detail right there too. So they greet me at the door uh, when I come in and when I leave. So another word for when I come in is when I arrive. So I'm gonna add what they greet me at the door when I arrive and when I leave. And again, it's getting very squishy in there, but that's okay. These are my edits. It doesn't have to look super pretty at this time. <laughs> okay. So um, now I'm going to add that sentence about how I feel about um, them helping. So I like that they are friendly and helpful. So I'm going to add that in. And since I have some space in my picture area, I'm going to put that up here. So I like that. They are friendly and helpful. Now friend is one of our sight words this week. So F-R-I-E-N-D, spelling that correctly and then adding L-Y to make it friendly. Friendly and helpful. Putting in adjectives, adverbs to um, describe them. Okay, now I am excited about that sentence. So I'm gonna put a little bit of different structure and make it an exclamation point. I like that they are friendly and helpful. <laughs> okay, now um, I'm already to my last sentence. So I'm gonna say, at the workers at the store help us all. I'm gonna add again grocery into there um, so that we have a little bit more of a clear picture of which workers. So the grocery, the workers at the grocery store help us all. Oh, and I need some punctuation at the end. Okay, so now that I've added all of my details in, let me show you my finished product. Okay, so now it's, even though I had a little bit of an error there I had to fix, um, most of it looks a lot better. It's nice handwriting. I have all my edits in there, and it says, Grocery store workers help in my community. They help scan and bag my groceries. They help me find food and other items. When I can't reach something, employees get it down for me. They stock the shelves with food. They also greet me at the door when I arrive and leave. I like that they are friendly and helpful. The workers at the grocery store help us all. I even added a little bit more in my final draft here. That's great. So um, you can always add a little bit more into your final draft if you decide while you're doing that. Um, just make sure it's the best you can do and it is makes sense, right? So um, you can go ahead and edit your writing. Try to make it a little bit better, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more detailed, and fix any errors that you need to fix. Have fun with it and happy learning.